For years, the rains have failed and rivers have dried up, leaving people with nothing to eat and little to drink in southern Madagascar. Last year, the World Food Programme warned that global warming is creating a food crisis. More than a million people need aid, and many are close to starving. DW's Adrian Krish visited the region of Ambavombe, where the drought is putting communities there in a desperate situation. This is Manambuvu River, or what's left of it. For two years, residents of Chiombe have to dig in the riverbed, their main source of water. We are truly suffering. Now it's really dry, dry, dry. No rainfall at all. The rainy season should have already started, but once again people are still waiting. Liferai and her family left their village and came to town because of the drought. Back home everything had run dry, but here things were not much better. Yes, it's a tiny house, but this is what we can afford to rent. Our house is in the village, far from here. But we come here because we need access to water. We brought all the kids here, and now they work as water carriers. Fetching water and selling it is their only option of earning money for food. Every morning, this is the reality for tens of thousands in the region who live in villages without access to water. They have to transport their water containers to water sources, then fill them up and bring them back to their villages, of course, at a price. And it's often children who are doing this work, skipping school. Cecina Clara Sia is one of them. She would prefer to be in school now, but she needs to support her family, and the river is more than 10 kilometers away. It's difficult for me because even to carry the water from the river to the truck is tiring and then from here to the house. But if we don't have money, we don't eat and drink. So we use some of the water from my family and sell some to neighbours here to make some money. After two hours of hustling for a lift, a truck finally gives her family and their 40 empty water containers a ride to the river. Quickly put the cans inside the truck. Southern Madagascar has always been poorer and drier than the rest of the island. The recent drought, combined with decades of neglect by the central government, has aggravated the situation. We meet the regional governor. He says there are plans to build a road and a massive water pipe to bring in water from areas better off. But he can't say when. You can expect uh, uh, those problems to be uh, resolved within uh, one year or two years. For the last eight decades, nothing has been done. And this is the first government, this is the first regime which is uh, taking care of the whole of the problem. He says residents are also to blame because for generations they have been cutting down the forests in the area. Back at Manambovo River, Lifera says she has no energy to think about who or what is responsible for the crisis. Sometimes the children don't get any money until the end of the day, so we eat late at night. Sometimes we don't eat the whole day, we just stay hungry. Then I just search for cactus fruits. Now we don't have anything to cook, so I need to go and look for cactus fruits so we have a meal. So once again she ventures out in the heat, without shoes, looking for something to eat. Trying to make ends meet, finding food and water is all Liferai can think of every day.